Hey yo, what's going on? It's me, Boss Cat Astronaut, with another update. Uh, so really quick, guys, wanted to share this video and uh, talk about the question of whether or not the NFT market is dead, uh, and really address the question: Has the NFT bubble burst? These are real valid questions. Uh, shout out to a buddy of mine, Rich, who shared uh, a CNN interview uh, with uh, the author and crypto critic David Gerard, who talked about uh, you know NFTs uh, being a marketing scheme. Uh, and there was never really any real interest outside of people in the crypto space. They were speculators. Uh, and he also went on to say that the crypto bubble has burst. Now, he's not wrong in terms of the majority of projects being marketed very well during a bull run. He's not wrong about the bubble bursting uh, in most projects falling to the wayside. Uh, where we differ in our opinion is the future of NFTs. Uh, studying the actual utility and value that NFTs bring to, a, to an ecosystem. In fact, they create their own ecosystem. So an example of that would be Board Ape Yacht Club, right? Um, what, what people don't understand in this market is if I, if I purchase and minted a Board Ape Yacht Club NFT, and minted means I purchased it initially when it launched. I paid $300 for that asset, right? So even though NFTs are down in terms of price, that is an incredible return on investment. That's not including, that's not including the numerous uh, airdrops uh, in other assets that people were able to attain by simply holding a Board Ape Yacht Club NFT. So to provide an example for you, we'll go through this. The current floor price for this NFT, right? Uh, which has done 658.6 Ethereum in volume. No, 658,000. Uh, in volume, the floor price is 77.68 Ethereum, right? So let's see what that is in terms of U.S. dollars. And my apologies, I think the audio is working fine uh, in terms of video. Uh, we might be having some issues there, uh, but wanted to lay this out for you really quick. So an asset that I could have minted and purchased a little over a year ago for $300. Now the floor price, the cheapest one that can be purchased right now is $123,000. I don't think the bubble has burst depending on the quality of the projects that you're involved in. If you look at the historical mint price for most of these assets, the return on investment is well above what you would see in the stock market and other places. Now, there's also significant loss associated with those projects uh, that didn't make it. But I think it's far fetched to say that uh, the bubble has burst and that there isn't any significant value in these projects. Uh, I'm going to say this here. And then I'm going to cut this video short. The Board Ape Yacht Club ecosystem, including other deeds, other sides, which is their metaverse, could be the most impactful and largest game that we've ever seen in the next two, three, four years. So we'll see how that plays out. But NFTs are here to stay. There's real utility and real value. Uh, another way I can explain that to you is what's called Web3, and then I'll finish. Now, Web3 is essentially utilizing your NF NFT in real life and monetizing it. So I could, I could show you the latest Snoop Dogg and Eminem video where they actually use their Board Ape Yacht Club NFTs in the video, right? 
but I'm going to, I'm going to show you this. Uh, and shout, shout out to Board and Hungry. Board and Hungry uh, is a restaurant in Long Beach, California. Uh, and what they did is they ended up purchasing. Uh, they ended up purchasing Bored Apes and Mutant Apes. Uh, and that's part of their marketing. So when you go in, uh, what you're seeing is an NFT ecosystem in real life. Okay. Now, uh, they have merch. They have great food. So I've heard, uh, I've heard nothing but rave reviews from this restaurant. Uh, they're still in business and going strong. And this is a prime example of utilizing and monetizing your NFT. Uh, we There's also a Board Ape Yacht Club member who signed to the CAA agency, which is known for signing high level uh, entertainers, actors, etc. So all that to say this. Uh, I don't think David Gerard is wrong with the overall NFT market kind of being a bubble and slowing down significantly. I think where he is wrong is not realizing this is very similar to projects that we saw during the dot-com era, where there were a few major projects that rose to the top and really changed the world. That's what we'll see with NFTs. That's what we'll see with the ecosystems that they create. That's what we'll see in real life with Web3 utility, where people are using pop culture icons, such as Board Ape Yacht Club, to monetize a business and create a brand uh, that is long lasting and successful. Uh, so as I always say, guys, make your own decisions, do your own research, but uh, start every day with a grateful heart. Feel free to like and subscribe, and I'll talk to you all soon. Take care.